all right people what is going on back with another video and today i'm doing another pickup video this you know i always try to do these videos at least once or twice a week the last video i did it was a gap between was two months since i did my last pickup so i'm trying to make up for some time so hopefully you guys will check out this video and i hope you guys uh enjoy what i got in store thank everybody who's been watching the streams you guys are awesome picking up on the videos it's been a small uptick in views but it's always thanks to you guys i mean and the guys who are over there on the first and frame race channel who've been watching that content really really appreciate it thank you guys i do i'm working with two channels over here i also do the first and frame rate show and i need to do another vf cast that needs to come up really uh really soon so be able to look out for that because i got a handful of topics i want to talk about when it comes to that as well so all right let's get into this today uh i did a pick up uh went to one of my regular retro stores um because like i said I, i'm into the retro stuff now the new stuff is okay like you said i see a series i got my series s back there i still play the new stuff but the retro stuff i love it i really really enjoy picking up retro games and playing them so i went for playstation not playstation 4 3 or anything like that or just sony i went playstation 1 so i got some playstation 1 games and these games are really good also I managed to pick up a device for my PlayStation 1. I can use it for the PlayStation 2 as well. And um, I really, I'm really looking forward to using this device. Well, but only got two or three games for the PlayStation this time. Let's go around. I didn't think about picking up too much more, but I think these games are really cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first game I got, um, a really good game on the PlayStation. Nice, good, look, good looking 2D platformer. I ended up getting Rayman got rayman for the rest of the greatest hits version but let me tell you something one thing i like about this store i go to me and the guy have a real good rapport he always have his stuff in really good shape i mean you couldn't ask for a game in this good shape i mean and um look at the, i didn't look at the disc the disc is really clean no crazy scratches i mean the quality of the case i mean i, I just love going to this store because this guy always keeps his stuff in order he does a phenomenal job personally i would like to have these type of games on the saturn but i don't mind getting it for the playstation especially when uh i get it for a pretty good deal um a lot of these games in this condition can be high in prices some retro stores because you know some people are, are you know their business they're trying to make a quick buck so they will try to give these games like maybe uh uh value and a half for what it's worth maybe double in some cases but getting rayman at this price and the way this looks is really good. i love these platformers great great game another game i got um i think i did a pickup on this a while back but this is not one of the games i did pick up i picked up blitz for the playstation at one point this is a game i had for a while back i ended up getting a sequel i got blitz 2000 now for the playstation I kind of wish I had both of these on N64 because the N64 version, you don't have to worry about loading times, but you can't, you know, be mad at the type of prices that you get. I mean, I think the price on this is pretty good. Um, I got a good, I got a good deal with this one as well. And what can you not like about NFL Blitz? I mean, NFL Blitz is, is what it is. It's a really good game. Um, so I did get this as well. So I have Blitz 2001 on a Dreamcast and I forgot that blitz 2000 came out for the dreamcast as well so not only this came out for the n64 it's also available on the dreamcast so i may be getting different versions of this game down the road and my son is here i, I love my son he's 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 the greatest um the other game i got was um this one is a pretty rare game to find you don't find this one too much out in the wild and if you do it's behind the glass counter it costs a, a good bit because of the type of game it is um he had this game already set up with the rest of the game this one wasn't behind the glass counter but it was fairly priced street fighter alpha 2 for the playstation and once again you can look just like i showed the blitz game these games are in really good condition very good i'm gonna go back and show you real quick blitz 2000 i mean just look at it very good condition of these games the you know everything about this is really good so i mean i didn't want to i'll be remiss if i didn't show you that but good good condition on that good condition on this one as well 
Street Fighter Alpha 2 is um you can get this game in, in various forms right now. I mean, I think you can get it with the Street Fighter Alpha Collection for the PS4, PC, Xbox One, uh, Xbox. Yeah, you can get this game in various forms. But it's just something about the PlayStation version, the, the Sega Saturn version. Because I have the Sega Saturn version behind me as well. Um, it's just something about these games that just, it just has a uniqueness to them, some type of charm to them that I like. And once again, you look at the book no bends no scratches any nothing's wrong with the, i mean this guy i mean this retro store is one thing i love if he gets products he makes sure that they're in really good condition also because he also know i don't buy games that are in bad shape i just don't i just don't i, I mean if a game comes out and it has like you know a little scuff here and there maybe but i don't buy games without the case i, I just can't i just can't Buy games out of cake, buy a game with no um uh instruction manual. I just can't do it. I, I really can't. It's one thing I just don't I'm I, I'm I just don't do. But like I said, you can look once again. Here's a picture of Ryu Ken Chun Li. Really good um quality, very good quality. The disc is right here. Once again, here's the disc. The disc is right there. I mean, I mean for a PlayStation game, it's like beautiful quality on these discs. And, the, you know, I was so fortunate. This one here, he could have charged me a good bit for this, but the fact that I have a good rapport with him, he lowered the price on this. And um, that's one thing about retro stores. If you're really into this, my main thing I would tell you is to go to the stores and speak to the guys that are there. Build a relationship with them. Talk about games with them because they will look out for you in certain games that they that you may want to find and certain things that, you know, they may have that they want to give you a, you know, a, a hometown discount because you always a, a reliable customer. So it, it's good to do that. So I got a good deal on that because that's another game that can go up in price because of the type of game. I mean, I've seen that game go up to maybe $80, 90 because some of these stores will try to get you. I got it for less than half of that, but much more or less than that. Another thing that he had that I that I got, and um, man, I'm I'm so happy that I got this. I think you guys will enjoy this. You know, I'm really big on arcade sticks. Arcade sticks is one thing I love to get, and I think this one is a import uh arcade stick. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if this is when this is for the U.S. market. But I managed to get this. He had this, and this thing, I may do a, just a separate video on this. This arcade stick is phenomenal. And I'm not joking. When I picked this up, I saw it. This is one of the, the one of the things that was actually behind the glass at the store. When I saw this, I was like, man, that's different. Is this my PlayStation? And when I started using the, the buttons, the arcade stick i was like oh no i gotta get this and he gave me a really good price on this a very good price so not only i can play street fighter alpha with this i can also play my nfl blitz with it as well you see what i mean because those are arcade style games and i already have the official playstation arcade stick i have, I have a lot of arcade sticks maybe i need to make a video on that as well but I think I'm going to make a video on this one, uh, you know, just in general, because this is great. It has auto fire. You can do slow motion. Um, it just, I mean, it's just the feel of it is just a very good quality arcade stick. And when, when, when you talk about stuff like this, do, these are the things I just love getting high quality games, high quality accessories for my, uh, for for my uh games i just love it see my playstation one right there behind me you know i'm going to be using it for this for or using this on that um i'm pretty sure it works on the playstation 2 as well and um all the fighting in the arcade style games arcade games that are on those two platforms i can't wait to try it out and just like i said the the stick itself i mean you can't ask for something better than i think i'm gonna do a video on this it's just really cool and um it just you know before I go, I want to talk about this as well. Knowing the type of gamer that I am, it, it I, I feel more comfortable with where I, I'm at now. Now, when I talk about this, you have to go back and check out the last VF cast when I set myself straight, when I talked about 
what type of gamer I am and, and what type of games I need to be playing. And I have so many games I've spoiled myself. I literally spoiled myself with all these games. And I know I have enough games to last me like damn near forever. And what I need to do is just continue just buy games that I know I'm going to play, games that I know I'm going to have fun with and not be so curious about games. And I end up buying games that I don't want, but my, the curiosity took over my judgment or just buying games where I think it's cool because everybody else is doing it. Sometimes instead of just buying a new game, something like this, you know, something like this, just, you know, satisfy my week or satisfy my day. Or if I do buy an NFL blitz and can I beat all the teams on there, you know, and just beat the game that way. Uh, th those are the type of things that I really need to, you know, focus on. And I've been doing that lately. So now it's back to just uh, playing games that I like, enjoying the games, not being so curious about games and just play, like I said, just play these games and enjoy myself. And, and I think at the end of the day, that's what it's about. That's why I'm not really too geared towards the new stuff now, because the new stuff is just too many question marks behind these games. Too many question marks. And then when the game comes out, it'd be too many question marks about the quality of the game. When is a patch coming? Why is this broken? Uh, this need to be delayed. I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole, but I love new games. Don't get me wrong, but that's the situation that we're dealing with. So. Hopefully it'd be resurrected. Uh, I mean, it'd be, re it'd be, yeah, it'd be resurrected in a good fashion and be fixed down the road. But right now, I think I'm just going to be sticking to what I got and, you know, just continue to do that. If you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, let people know what I'm doing over here. I do a lot of stuff. I stream, I play video games. I talk about the games I pick up. Uh, I may get back to doing some of the news of the day or the news of the week when it comes to these games because i haven't been doing too many topics when it comes to actual game stuff but also i need to do another episode of the vf cast it's been a while so hopefully you guys will stick around man subscribe to the channel if you like man hopefully you will stick around and i'll see you guys on the next one all right y'all y'all be easy you guys be blessed peace